okay. <laughs> My dog is picking right now to lose his mind, so sorry. Today we are going to be unboxing, unveiling. There's my cat, hold on. Going to go over a big thrift haul. This is probably a two days worth of thrifting haul. Um, I think I found some good stuff. I, I know I found some good stuff, but I wasn't going to thrift in September and I, I'm just nervous and maybe you guys could talk me off the ledge. So I'm nervous that we're going to shut down again. I'm nervous that the virus is going to have another influx and we're going to shut down and I'm not gonna be able to get inventory. It's been a really hard balancing act to juggle because I feel like on the one hand, I don't need inventory and I'm not making as many sales as I had been pre-corona. So do I, and not spend as much money on new inventory and spend more time relisting my previous inventory, maybe taking some new photographs, whatever, zhuzhuzhing my listings and then redoing them so that they look new and playing with some other platforms, focusing on more cross-listing, or do I continue to buy new inventory that I technically don't really need? This is a really long intro, I know, stick with me. But I'm worried that I'm gonna run out of inventory, like I'm gonna run out of my money pile, my death pile, whatever you wanna call the pile of lawn, the pile of laundry, the pile of laundry, the pile of inventory that's not listed. And I'm worried that I will go through that and we will have another recession or not recession, but closing down of everything. And oh, like these are the things that keep resellers up at night, like legit. So I shopped again and I'm trying really hard do not and actually this is actually three days worth of thrifting because there was one small bag that I did last week and that was it I got four or five things and I will show you those things first that I got just this last week and then everything else is from the week before it's been sitting in quarantine in my you know in the shed so that I don't bring anything in the house but the first thing I picked up and this isn't even like I, I picked this up based on style alone this is a top by joie and it's a camel print racerback tank top and it's like a sheer um, polyester material look at this print for starters all those little camels and the size isn't great guys it's not a great size it's an extra small and not to discriminate against the tiny people of the world but I have so many smalls and some extra smalls and they don't move so so I struggle another brand I picked up this week and it's a new to me brand is by it's called Etienne Marcel and it's an a Los Angeles like made in the USA brand and it looks like this it is almost like a camo green distressed short sleeved shirt and it's got distressing on the back too and it's this star print. It feels like brand new, like it's never even been washed. It doesn't have tags. It's not new with tags, but you know how clothes have that crisp, not washed feel to them? This feels very much like that. And I mean, Raw Hem, this brand sells for a lot. Um, I looked up comps when I was in the, th in the thrift and I'm confident I can get 30 to $35 for that top, but we will see. Another thing I picked up only because it was on the dollar sale was by Speedo and it's an extra large and it's basically a cover up for your swimming. So it's like a little skirt, a little zip skirt for swimming. And it was a dollar. So it's like, yes, it's the wrong season, but whatever. This is something I picked up for me and I just couldn't resist and I loved it. And it's by the brand Choss or Chaus. It's not very, it's not a very expensive brand, but it's long sleeve and I just fell in love with the print. I just think it's so cute. It's got like these little bell sleeves. I mean, just a little polyester top, real simple, sheer and lightweight. I love it. I like to layer, so I like sheer lightweight tops. Okay, so that was it. That's all I bought that day, which is a really good, like self-control moment for me because oh, you guys the rest of this is from the last week the time before that there's two thrifts I hit Goodwill and I hit Community Aid which is a thrift store in my area so let me tuck my hair back here and get ready 
The first thing I found were these new with tag vintage Levi's. Um, and these are those stiff jeans everybody's talking about finding. And these are the orange tab. Yes, these a pair just like this just sold for e on eBay for $50. So my lighting is getting a little wonky. I'm sorry. But these are 100% cotton Levi's. Um, I'm trying to see what they are. The straight leg, original fit. They came from JCPenney, made in the USA. Like, I mean, these are oldies but goodies. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to have these. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. They've probably been sitting in someone's closet for decades. And there they are. So I'm happy to have those. This is something, no, well, I picked this up for my husband. It's by Rock and Republic which is a Kohl's brand and he'll probably hate this shirt and I'll end up putting it up on eBay or on Poshmark and eBay anyways, but I'll show it to you. It's just this Henley long sleeve, like Henley top, but it's got some color blocking on the sleeves and I think it's great. I love the brand Rock and Republic. Like it's my aesthetic to a T, which kind of seems funny if you like know me at all and I have all these kids, but I like the rock and roll themed brand. I can't help it. I like rock music a lot. Another thing I picked up on the dollar clearance, and that's the only reason why I picked this up because it was a dollar, was this Land's End. And I think this is a newer label Land's End jacket. And this is also a plus size. It's a size 18. And it's just this like herringbone type pattern, uh, quilted, just lightweight zip up coat. So we'll take that for a buck. Why not, right? I also picked up this bag and I might keep it because it's just so cute. It was only $1.50, but it's like a little reading bag and it has, um, it's got, it's from a company called Out of Print. Actually, now that I think about it, I think this actually has some resale value of like $20. So it's like, let's, let's hang out and read. Let's hang and read. And, um, this is what the little tag looks like out of print. And this is a made in the U.S you made in the USA brand and then on the other side it just says slow readers club and it's in perfect condition there's nothing wrong with this bag absolutely nothing it's got a little pocket on the inside and that's it but I was like oh my god how cute are you how cute are you I found this wallet Harry Potter it says Hogwarts on it and on the other side there's a little Harry Potter logo with the holidays coming I thought this would be a good pickup and I got this for $2.50 because it was at a half price, but it looks brand new, like brand spanking new, not a speck of dirt on it. So I grabbed it. Do I expect to get a huge amount for it? No, but I'm still trying to keep the holidays in mind. And that's definitely something that would be like giftable. And oh, this is another thing I picked up for the husband, which I mean, whatever, like it's another Henley. As you can tell, I'm trying to get him some long sleeve, like casual wear, and it's just by a brand called Redhead. It's nothing. I mean, it's literally just like an oatmeal heather striped Henley. It's nothing, but I grabbed it for him. And it's even like too big for him, but he likes to wear things oversized. And I grabbed this little top for my daughter. It's got a little hedgehog on it. We have a hedgehog, so um, we're all a little hedgehog obsessed at my house. This is just a little justice top. And here's another top I picked up for my daughter. It's a LuLaRoe. Really, really cute, like little little paper airplanes. Just cute. Look, I also picked these up and I kind of grabbed these on a whim and I do not know if that was a, a good pickup or a bad pickup, but they're suspenders and they have these little chimney sweep guys on them and they look like they are in perfect condition. Um, I think this might even be authentic leather. Like it feels and looks like authentic leather. There is not a tag on these things, not one, but I will find them online. Like, but <laughs> just so random, right? So I had to grab those cause they were half price too. So I had to grab them, dollar fifty. Like why not try some suspenders, right? Okay, I also picked these up, which I might actually keep for myself. The bottles themselves are dirty, but the spelts are unpopped and they're clean. So I think these are just something that sat in someone's closet and they came from Marshall's. So I'm assuming that they just sat in someone's closet and they never used them. So they just donated them. So I got the living proof and this is the curl leave-in conditioner. 
I don't know if I'm going to clean these up and sell them or if I'm going to keep them. I haven't decided yet. Another thing I picked up that same day was this 31 tablet um, protecting bag thing. I got it for a dollar. Uh, I already sold this exact thing once on Mercari for $18. So I grabbed it again because it's like, yeah, take a dollar and turn it into $18 all day long. I picked up these baby Converse shoes. Look how cute they are. They were $2.50. These are a Kidizen pickup. I'm gonna put them up on Kidizen once I give them a little scrub. They're really in good shape, but I can take a magic eraser to those toes and just make them look brand new again. So that's why I grabbed those. Ooh, this was also from this week. This belonged with that original stack of clothes. This is the True Blue Spa Shea Butter Super Rich Foot Cream. This is a clean label, like clean nozzle. Still has the price tag, it's a $20 foot cream. These sell for $50 on eBay. I paid $1.50 for it. So I'm thrilled about that. Thrilled, thrilled about that. I found this book. Do you guys remember reading these when you were a kid? The Goosebumps books? Like I read every single one, like legit. So I bought them for my daughter. I bought this for my daughter because this does not have a high resale value, but I bought it for my daughter. I did, however, find a couple things. So I'm gonna make some bundles. Um, and sell them but I found some high school musical books I found the original babysitter club books I found the animorphs like am I taking you back to your childhood Christina's ghost who read that I read it um ghost cadet I thought maybe we make a little bundle there who is Bugs Potter like I mean the day the fifth grade disappeared like I'm seriously gonna let her read some of these fourth grade is a jinx like oh yeah I read these books totally read these books um another babysitter's club book more babysitter's club more high school musical I'm gonna do a bundle of the high school musical together but yes yes right I mean I don't think I'm gonna make a fortune off of them but they're really cool and again I'm thinking like holidays I picked up this 31 bag which I kind of overpaid for it but I have one of these and I love it so much. I might keep this for myself. So that's kind of how I justified it. It's a little um, organizing tote from 31. So I love them. I can't remember the specific name, but I have one of these. This little guy undoes here, like un undoes. He undoes, he unbuttons. So it's like a little caddy, like a carry all like caddy type thing. And it, fold it folds down flat. So I bought that cause I might keep it for myself. I picked up this elephant and I don't, I picked him up because he looks so grouchy. Like he looks so fat and grouchy, but he's still so soft. He's new with tags. I mean, he's got, well, he still has his tags on him. Is he new with tag? I don't know. Um, I got him for 99 cents. It's a Dakin. Um, I thought I'd look him up and see, but I might even just keep him because I have a soft spot for elephants. I can't help it. I can't help it. If I'm rushing, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through this so we're not on here forever. I picked up this purse and it has this chain strap and all this metal studding, which is all there, no marks on anything. And it folds over and clasps. And the straps, you can take the straps off and use it like a clutch. The top unzips and it opens up to this amazing print on the inside. And this is a new with tag bag. And the brand, is Urban Expressions. So I was really, really happy to grab this bag. Again, like it's got two faint, really faint marks right here, but I think they'll actually clean off. I wasn't about to sit there and like lick at it and try to get it cleaned off. Um, but I'm excited about this bag. I got it for $5. So I'm hoping to flip it for 25, 30, hoping. Thing I picked up today, which I thought was kind of cool was this one. I picked it up today. I didn't pick it up today. I picked it up almost two weeks ago. Look at this Grinch. Isn't he cool? He was also a 99 cent find. And then here, it was made for Macy's in 1997. So he's technically vintage. Um, he's got this little plastic heart on his chest, but he doesn't have any like component in him. So I don't think he, oh, oh, he does. And he doesn't work. Didn't check his hand. Rookie mistake rookie mistake oh well he's still really cool though so I bought him 
And another hard good item I bought is this blast from the 80s. Um, the Curl Dazzler Diffuser Dryer from Con Air. Look at this thing. <laughs> and look at this girl. Like you could totally tell. I mean, her hair is amazing, right? Like the girls knew how to do their hair then. I'm like, so good. Um, 1990. So this is like right as the 80s were winding down and the hair was still big. But this is brand new in the box. Still has all the original plastic on it. I'm thinking $30, 35 dollars. Speaking of hair dryers, I picked up this crazy dog hair dryer, new in the box, and it's a dog, it's a dog grooming hair dryer. I don't know. I don't know. Comps look good though. Like again, we're talking like $30, $35 for a dog hair dryer. I picked this up because they were new with tags and they were a dollar. So that's the only reason why I picked these up because I couldn't resist, but the size is not something I would have picked up or if this hadn't been a dollar, I wouldn't have picked it up. Let's just put it that way. So they were new with tags. They're Banana Republic Factory. They're a petite exclusive. They are a double zero petite Jackson fit pant. Look at the, look at what they wanted for them. $20. That's why they were still there. Super tiny. Just a really nice gray career pant, new with tags. Like, do I expect to get more than 25 bucks for them? Mm, probably not, but a girl can dream. And they'll probably sit for a while and I will regret my life choices. Here's another thing that was a dollar. It's from a brand called Cricket Lane Collection. And um, I think I just got it because the, the cooler season is upon us. And I think this is wool. This is a wool blend jacket. So you see the print there. It's just like a zip up with shoulder pads. I don't know. It's hard to say. We'll see how she does, right? Okay, I also picked up these for a dollar and they're just Joe B. They're not anything crazy. I've sold this brand before, but I kind of thought the style wasn't bad. They're like little like lounge pants. They got the white stripe down the side and they're just like a wider leg lounge pant. Um, so I grabbed them. They're not, again, going to fetch a huge amount of money, but you know, they'll do okay. This is another dollar pickup and this is from Cheryl Nash, which I hope is a good one. Um, it's a small, but I liked the, it's a wool blend again, but I just liked the design of it. It has this faux leather, well, these like zipper pockets. I thought they were lined, but they're not, but just like a little coat. And I just grabbed it because people like those kind of lightweight coats. And here's a dress I picked up. And this is from a brand called Donna Morgan. And this is a tiny little dress again, but it was only a dollar. And I couldn't resist the dress. Okay, so it's got this like little collar and these buttons. It's like this art deco circles. It's got a little tie around the waist. I mean, tiny little dress, but it's just so, it was just so cute and it was a dollar. I have to stop doing that. I have to stop think, thinking little sizes are so cute. I wish the dress was my size. I will never be a small in my life ever again. I picked up these pants. I was thinking about giving them to hubby if he wants them, but if not, then I'm going to sell them. Um, these are a large, they're a champion um, sweatpants. So they have like a drawstring and they're not even a sweatpants, they're like a cotton lounge pant. And they have pockets and they have, you know, the little embroidered C on them and they're navy blue and they're in perfect condition. Uh, and everybody's champion crazy these days. So I just grabbed them because I was like, yeah, we'll either home you with the hubby or home you somewhere else. Another pickup. Ooh, I was excited about this one. This is a vintage piece and it's from a company called Peanut Butter and Jelly. And it looks like this. And it is a size 2X made in the USA, probably made in the 90s but look at this <gasps> look look at the horses i'm not even a horse person but it's just beautifully embroidered just gorgeous and this sweater is still like super smooth on the inside so it's not i don't even think it's been worn or if it has like one time like beautiful i mean just gorgeous i paid 250 for it it wasn't a dollar item but i mean like why not right somebody would love to have that like that would make an excellent gift for somebody here's another new with tag pickup i will pretty much pick up new with tags no matter what it is other than like walmart or target brands i literally will but this is not 
this is not a bad brand this is jones new york which was which was something in its day and it's a size 14 these were a dollar um but again they were new with tags these are 119 dollar pants like and they're just these nice olive like dark i would say like a dark olive green um straight leg pant career wear pant um those are an ebay those are for ebay for sure and i picked up this new with tags and again this it was a dollar it was new with tags and it's a plus size so this is a 3x men's argyle sweater so that's why i picked him up perfect condition it's a liz claiborne again not a big old brand but new with tags i picked up these pants they're a Lauren Ralph Lauren, but I got them because they're so stinking cute. Okay, look at these buttons. They're like little sailor pants. And even the buttons themselves have little anchors on them. So they're these, I don't even know what you would call it. It's not even like pinstripe. They look like a flare leg. They, yeah, like a railroad almost, my husband said. Yeah, like that's kind of what they look like. Like little sailor style. Like I just couldn't leave these behind. These were too cool. And these are size 10. So, yeah, definitely a wider leg. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like them a lot. Oh, what else is in here? Um, more pants. I like pants a lot. A lot of people hate to do pants, and I like to do pants. These are a J. Crew. They're factory, but they're still J. Crew. The matchstick pants and black denim. And these are in a size 29, and they're just a super skinny black jean. Oh, well, no, this is skinny. I don't know. But the matchstick brands, I got those because they're in excellent condition. Like, not faded at all. More pants. Are you sick of pants yet? Oh. Why did I get these? Um, these were a dollar, and these were BMOS. I think I got them. Oh, yeah, I got them because they were black satin pants. That's why I got them. So, black satin pants with the three button with, like, little gemstones in them and they just are nice like long satin leg they were in perfect condition and they were a dollar so it's like yeah somebody will want you moss is not like a huge brand but it's not bad this was tahari i picked them up with thoughts of um thread up i was thinking about thread up for these pants but depending on fiber content and with how slow thread up is right now i might try to sell them on my own Oh, they're just a polyester, but they are size 12 and they're just a black trouser career pant. That's it. They do have a little bit of sheen to them. Nothing crazy. Just a black pant from Tahari. They're pretty. They're really pretty. These were a dollar um, and I got them. Oh, they're LLB and that's why I bought them and they were a dollar. These are corduroy, black corduroy pants and they're in like perfect condition for a dollar they even have like a metal label on the back for ll bean so i grabbed them i was actually thinking to thread up for these as well my camera keeps fading in now i'm sorry it's late we're getting on towards the end here um uh, where did i grab these Ooh, these are a dollar and they're high rise so that's why i grabbed them so these are by express and for according to their tag they're the high rise pants and they're an eight so they're just a black high rise career pant and they have these ruffles on the feet. So they're like cropped pants. That's right. They were like cropped. Really, really cute. They were a buck. I do well with Express. Um, people say don't pick up Express. I actually do pretty well with Express. It's not a huge money maker, but it, it sells. So to me, that's doing well. And this is something I picked up for me, which is ridiculous, but I love it so much. Okay. This is just ANA. It's just ANA, which is um, JCPenney, but it is the softest, fluffiest, floofiest shirt I have ever seen in my life. And I will destroy this because it's white and I do not buy white for me. And I, get, I paid $7 for this, which is ridiculous because it's ANA. But it's so soft. It's like brand new. There is a mark on this thing. I don't even know if it was washed because it is just in impeccable soft condition. And I don't care if I stain this. I will wear this probably all winter long. So I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it for the $7. And for me, I don't mind spending up a little bit because it's homemade, which is, you know, other than my kids and my husband. 
some of the most important people on the planet, right? <laughs> that is my haul. That's what I bought. Um, I feel like I got a lot of really, really nice things. And I feel like um, I need to stop shopping. <laughs> I got so much stuff. But I just don't know. I, I don't know. Like, should I... Should I stop? Should I go? Should I, should I zig? Should I zag? Like, wh what should I do? I don't know. I really don't know. And that's what is the struggle for me right now. Like I am hardcore on the struggle bus because I don't, I don't know what I should do with this stuff. Like, should I keep buying it? I don't know. I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't already, unless you've clicked out of here because you're like, this girl is nuts, which is entirely possible um but anyways i hope that you'll subscribe i hope you like this video comment below let me know what you're doing as a reseller like how are you planning out your holiday and fall season like what are your plans maybe that would be a great video to do it's like what are my plans what am i gonna do um because this will be my first like my one year comes up in november and my first holiday season i don't really count because i had no idea what i was doing and i started late like cuz stores and companies are doing good like, getting holiday ready right now like they're starting to plan their holiday floor sets they're start they already know what holiday products they're gonna have what their black friday sale is gonna be like i need to get ready now so let me know what your strategy is are you going to continue to buy even though sales aren't that great and hopefully you know because eventually it's gonna it's gonna turn again that's just business i don't know i'm giving myself I gotta go. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Sell lots of things, do lots of great things, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. It was